And let me set the scene here. You're on a tropical vacation. There's a steel drum playing in the background, a Mai Tai sitting on the table in front of you, gentle trade winds blowing. Now, you come home from that vacation, you want to bring something of the trip with you. A good idea is to plant a few tropicals around your property. If you live in a cold climate, treat them as annuals or bring them inside into a greenhouse setting in the winter. But when you also bring tropicals into your property, you might bring some tropical problems too. I'm thinking of whitefly. These are nasty little bugs that'll sap the life from your plant very quickly. And they leave this candy cotton, cotton candy looking string hanging off the plant. It's really a disgusting little insect. You wanna get rid of it? Well, it's pretty easy actually. First of all, come out and physically wash the plant with a hose. Really squirt it hard. If you look at the biology of this little creature, once it gets knocked off the plant, it's mostly wing. It's not gonna get up out of the mud and fly back up. Once the plant is dry, go back and get all the stragglers with a little hand vacuum. Just reach in there and get the leftovers like that and they'll be all gone. There's also a spray that we've discovered works very well, but it's important to use it every five days. Not six, not four, because what you're trying to do is stop the life cycle. These insects tend to hatch out a new brood every five days. So every five days you come out here with this, it's 50% rubbing alcohol and 50% water. As simple as that. And spray your plant very well you will kill a lot of the remaining insects at that time. Now, there's also increasing evidence that something that works as a wonderful fertilizer and soil conditioner also has an effect on white flies. It is worm castings. Again, all that is is manure from earthworms. Place that around the base of your plant. Now, there's increasing evidence that as the white flies suck the life from your plant, it suddenly takes nectar that they really like, the juices in the plant, and makes it taste something like sour milk to them. So they leave on their own.